Here I'm demonstrating electrostatic levitation. The top plate is positive and the table and everything else is ground. So it's just floating there between ground and the top plate. And the reason why it's so stable is as follows. Look at this diagram. So let me explain this diagram. Here's your piece of foil, pointy end down, rounded end up. Here's your positively charged plate. So the positive charges in the plate attract the electrons in the foil, which go to the top of the plate, and then you get an attractive force here. The positive charges in the plate repel positive charges in the metal down, so the, down, the pointy end becomes positively charged. And then that creates a very concentrated positive charge on this pointy tip here, which generates uh, a corona discharge and forms an ionic wind. So you get attraction here, which lifts it up. You get an ionic wind blown off there, which also lifts it up. And then the positive charges um, in the bottom part of the foil attract the, the earth ground because the positive attracts negative, and so you get a downward pull. So if you can balance the downward pull with the upward lift and the upward positive attraction, this thing should float in midair, which is what you're seeing here. So let's get back to the experiment. Basically what's happening is the tip of that upside down kind of teardrop shaped foil is positively charged and is streaming off positive ions, which keeps it levitated and stable. So you don't really need a metal plate at the bottom, you just need the top plate to be positive relative to earth ground. And this seems to keep it really stable. So I've tried some different shapes. I'll show you what I've tried out here. I've tried a variety of different types of foil levitators and each one works differently. And I've actually found these curved ones to work even more successfully. But this one seems to be going fine. And the longest I kept it levitated was all night. So I know it'll stay fairly stable. And I can adjust the height by varying the voltage with this variac. See, as I change it, it goes a little bit lower. If I decrease the voltage, it goes a bit higher. So I can control its height by just simply changing the voltage. The approximate voltage on the top plate probably around between something 30 to 50 kilovolts, which is generated with a voltage multiplier. You can see it in that plastic container sitting behind the setup. Now, on some recent videos that were done by um, Electroboom and the Plasma Channel, <coughs> they um, acted as the positive electrodes, so they basically insulated themselves from the ground and then used the hand to do the same trick that this metal, this uh, foil covered uh, styrofoam square is doing. The hissing that you hear is the corona that's coming off the pointy end on the bottom. Here I'm filming it in total darkness and you can barely just see that corona coming off the pointy end at the bottom. That's what's helping it lift up. Here I've curved it up a little bit and you can see it. it's a bit more stable.
So it's a really cool effect. And which is one of the reasons why I find static electricity so interesting, is that you can do all of these sort of weird levitation tricks. Okay, now let's see what this does to a candle flame. Look at that. It repels the positively charged ions in the candle flame. Let's see what will happen. Let's try and make the candle flame burn upside down. Here goes. Look at that. Actually burning upside down. Totally wild. Look at that. It's almost blowing it out. That is so cool.